backgrounds. They are, you know. The They're where you get stomped and you're happy about right. it. They are the stomping grounds, the happy stomping grounds. Oh, yeah. And speaking of stomp, we got the Boozer. And, uh, you know, Krom, Krom v. Boozer. Um, I, you know, Bowser's actually rather fast, and that forward air is a serious problem for Krom because right. it is, it's is—it's basically like a giant sheep bear. It, it, like, the, the vertical distance it covers, it's, like, deceiving. And I'm wonder, I've seen it. Polarity in front of Azzy's name. I'm wondering if maybe a Florida visitor? Is it Polarity, Polarity out of Florida? I have no idea. I have clue. no idea. Someone, someone in the chat let me know, and by in the chat I mean uh, someone tweet at me because I'm not in the chat right now. But we do have a Krom and a Bowser, and uh, Bowser is off stage, and that's not where you want to be against Krom oh, yeah. overall. And uh, the recovery is going to just try to down tilt that. I, I respect the attempt, just not able to quite connect. Good recovery coming out from Dre. Nice. That, oh, caught him, boy. I, I got to say, the trading, though, is definitely in Bowser's favor pretty much at all times. Uh, it's in favor of like, all the characters. You're supposed to just approach it from high. Usually you hit it with a down air, right, because there's no hitbox on top of it. It's just you can't really down air with Bowser in that situation because that's the ticket to the blast zone. Yeah. You know, the, the stall and fall uh, option. <laughs> yeah, as he's playing like an out-of-state player, like, he's been here before, and he's turning it up with Bowser. I like his usage. Yeah, I like his usage of the flame breath. Like seriously, I will spam flame breath with no remorse because a lot of the time it just works. So until you start punishing me for it, then it gets you. Well, it speaking of doing something for you know, until you get punished for it, I'm wondering why he just didn't. You know, he's, you see him crouching there, there for the uh, down tilt. I wonder what in his mind what went through it that said I should go for flame breath in this situation instead of the down tilt because down tilt was so good. Good yeah. back air coming out though from Trey. Yeah. Up that stock. I think he's just mixing up his options here yeah. when it comes to the, the ledge trapping. I mean, like, it's you're free to do whatever you, the hell you please, really. And he went for the hard read with the drop kick forward smash. Wasn't able to get it, but didn't mm. take too much damage for it. That's, like, one thing that's scary about Krom, especially against this character that is so big for Bowser. That damage is going to rack up really quickly. Good parry up smash. Yeah, that was really sweet. Yeah, uh, Azzy is uh, not somebody that I see a whole lot of. Oh, he's using the wave landing, too. Okay, okay, okay. Someone saw my spreadsheet. Very nice. Oh, and he's just, uh, no respect from Az. He's just landing on top of this dude. Yeah, he's playing Bowser like a sword character, just controlling all the space, walling him out. Oh. Trey's in a little bit of trouble. Where, where has this guy been the whole time? I'm telling you, if it's polarity, I'm almost positive that's Florida, but I could be wrong. All right. Don't quote then. me on that. All right. I'm definitely going to quote <laughs> you on it. <laughs> Lux says you're from Florida. I, I'm just confirming that. Lux is uh, right, even if you're not from Florida, you're actually from Florida now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lux is always right. Never wow. forget that. Yeah, you see Dre, he's going to that jab, trying to set up one of those, you know, patented. Oh! oh! Speaking of patented setups, you get the fade back shimmy forward smash. Yeah. Takes that stock. Shimmy, that's some Street Fighter yeah. terminology. I've been watching too much Street Fighter uh, in my time. Yeah. yeah, Lux has been around the block just <laughs> like me. I'll tell you what. Oh, what's up, Conrad? Oh, boy. Okay, so we're going on to Battlefield right now. Now, I, uh, okay, like, we've been talking, like, about Bowser. Yeah. What can we see from Ego Dre? What yeah, can we I, see? I think you saw Dre trying to go to the jab pressure, which I think is the right play. You just got to connect the jab and get some back air action off of it, and fall, you know, for falling up. I, I just think a lot of it he was getting out out pressured in the neutral and cornered pretty pretty easily by uh, Bowser. Like, right now he's doing a good job of keeping Bowser on the edge. Yeah, I like the spacing. The I, I like well, the spacing. Whether you immediately overexerted and, and reverse that situation. I think sometimes the sword characters, they got to exercise a little bit of patience. They get a little trigger happy on wanting to be able to edge guard people, and they put themselves in these really precarious, bad situations without much stage control, especially yeah. with a character with uh, some rough recovery issues like Prom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thankfully, he has the air mobility to kind of make up for his lackluster. Well, I don't want to call a B lackluster, but to a degree it is because you have no real horizontal drift with it. But, I mean, seriously, from what I'm seeing, I saw a huge adjustment in Dre's play. Like, I like what I'm seeing with his microspacing. Like, when he controls the center, like, you can tell that he understands... Uh, well, I mean, unfortunately. Uh, but you can tell he understands what edge trapping is or right. ledge trapping is. Uh, so, I mean, like, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Like, if he's able to right. just take out this stock right now, he should be in a pretty okay place. Yeah, it's unfortunate that he got scared right there. And yeah. as he was able to just kind of bully him off stage too far, so he's not able to recover. Oh, my God, he's just dash dancing in trouble. Oh, oh man. Like, as he had an opportunity to really seal it away and... 
he was, you know, playing footsies with himself uh, with no one on stage. I'm not so sure about the neutral B, though. I'm just saying from personal experience, yeah. I never see neutral B just, like, two-frame people or, or get people. It's like, it's like not just that, but it's you got to go with something that works here. You know, they got that jab to back here to clean up that stock, and yeah. he's keeping himself in it. And that's, you know, that's one thing about Krom has so much pop. And there's oh, that down tilt. That'll do it. Oh, so clean. Yeah. That's, so clean. That, this looks like a rough matchup overall for Bowser, or not for Bowser, for Krom, but just that one down tilt is all she wrote. Mm. Yeah, that is really unfortunate. It's like you, you're going to have to start using your directional air dodges if you're close enough or something, because that is a really deadly down tilt. Nice. That was really good back air, though. Yeah, yeah that got, whip punish. It probably looked like he hit the hand of the, uh, you know, the hurtbox in the hand extending out. That was that whip punish. Oh, okay, trying to change it up a little bit. And, you know, if Bowser's uh, ledge get-up attack wasn't so freaking large, he would have gotten a nice little punch with that forward smash. <gasps> oh, I thought we were going to see the forward smash there from Ego. Okay, okay. Hitting that shield up. Nicely done. Good pressure. Good neutral air to get through and land, you know. Uh, just kind of something not a lot of people expect on the landing game from Bowser. It's usually, you know, just landing aerials or... Uh, you know, mixing up with a, a side special. Oh, I guess a downer this time, too. Oh, oh the, the landing second. hitbox. <laughs> yup, the second hit. That's got to be scary because you do not want to get parried by Chrome, and he just kind of is probably feeling a little fortunate that he didn't get forward smash for it. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that the jab into the uh, backer didn't work out that time. He, yeah, yeah, well, he's at 170%, so that's a big deal. Oh, that's it. Uh, he was at 170%. <laughs> oh, boy. He, he called that on his own terms. Look at that, man. But you know what? Seriously, though, uh, despite... Despite the result, I I think Ego Dre is actually a pretty good player. Yeah. Like from what I just saw, like like in terms of spacing, right? In terms of spacing, he, he seems like he understands um, what to do for the most part. Yeah, it's just unfortunate they ran into you know Azzy and just looked so confident at zoning off the stage and bullying him into the corner. It didn't really put himself into any situations where he overexerted himself. Yeah. And was just able to maintain advantage for virtually the entire last yeah. game especially. And that demoralizing down tilt just... Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's how how would you feel? Yeah, I, I know down tilt was one of Bowser's primary kill moves, you know, ranging back even to... Wasn't it made? I know it was in the Brawl days for sure. <laughs> well, mm. Smash 4 definitely as well outside of, you know, the uh, the Koopa up air, up air, up throw, up air string. Yeah. Uh, but, like, in this game, it doesn't seem to have the same amount of pop. And just yeah, to be killed like that so easily. <laughs> it doesn't at all. That and uh, Donkey Kong, because they were very similar. Yeah. They were very similar. The Donkey Kong, Ding Dong. Um, did Bowser have, like, a special name for his confirm? Yeah, the Koopa. 